Welcome to Tap Dance Tuesdays, where we talk tap dance for two minutes every Tuesday. My name is Andrew Nimmer, and we're coming to you from the Van Tap Studios here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Today we're talking about uh, the contrast or the difference between counting and listening. Um, today in Tap Dance Land, there's a huge emphasis on being able to count, uh, especially with the the popularity of uh, odd or less common time signatures. You're thinking of uh, cycles of beats normally, music, uh, common music, things that we enjoy listening to are in four, maybe in three sometimes. Uh, now we're hearing things in seven and eleven and nine, and maybe five and a half. Um, and so counting is the standard way that uh, we are able to know where we are in time. However, um, this wasn't always the case, and here's the anecdote. Uh, when I first worked with Henry Letang, he brought me into the studio, we put together about uh, four courses of material in three days, uh, and what Henry would do is he would, he would come to you, he would show you the step, and then he would go to the piano, and he would not count you in. All you would hear was, ba da 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 Da, 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 boom. And you needed to know. Even when he taught you the step, you were doing it to the music. He would show you the pattern, then you would go to the piano, and it would be evident as to where that step needed to land in time. We did four choruses of music. He did not count through the four choruses. Instead, he played a different tune for every chorus of music to figure out how much material we had. And that is two minutes. <laughs>